Hey, what's up guys? Today, I installed an Android-based operating system into a 10-year-old computer. This is Dell Optiplex 390 and it was released at the time of Windows 7. Why would you even install an Android-based operating system into that PC? You might not be using it anymore and there are great thousands of applications in games that you can take advantage of. Make that old computer useful again. I did this similar video a couple years back, Prime OS, and I'm doing it again because they have done a lot of enhancement and developments with Prime OS that is worth sharing to you guys. I'm going to show you to you how I did it. Come and join me. First up guys, we need to download Prime OS from their website. I'll place a link on the description below so you can click that one and download it. As it is advertised here, Android based OS for PC or laptop. So you click the download button. There is a few advertisements that's going to pop up. You need to close it one and scroll down to the download Prime OS. Then you can skip that donate us. You can download the Prime OS, which is Android 7, but that's way too far. So I'll go ahead and download the beta version of Prime OS that is 11. It will take you to Sorge Forge, which hosted the ISO OS. So you need to wait for this one. It depends on how fast your internet is. So basically sit back and wait for it. So you can post this video and come back. For me, I'm going to fast forward for the sake of this video so that we can jump into the next step. While this is downloading, you go ahead and prepare a USB stick for us to flash this operating system, all right? When you're done with the download, you go ahead and grab this Balena Etcher. This is a software that we can use to flash the OS into the USB stick. So you plug the USB stick in your computer, go ahead to the link I've placed down below, click that one and download this Etcher program. You scroll down and you will see the version which is appropriate for you. For us, it's Windows. This will be a quick download since it's a very small program. So it will take a few seconds. Once it's done, just go ahead and click that. It will open up. Go for Agree. Then it will quickly install itself. There you go. At this version, we are going to insert or locate that Prime OS, we, we downloaded. There you go, Prime OS. Open that one up. Make sure your USB stick is plugged into the laptop or computer you're trying to make this one. For me, I have this USB stick plugged in already, so it detected that. Then I'll just go ahead and press flash. Then it will do its thing. This will take another eight to 10 minutes, I guess. So I did a quick fast forward again so that we're not going to wait. So feel free to pause this one if you're doing it at the same time I'm doing it and get back to it when you're done. As you can see guys, it's flash complete. Unplug the USB stick and then let's go ahead and install it to that computer. Here we are, I have plugged that one into the computer, powered it on. While it's booting, I want to jump into the BIOS pressing F1. That's a shortcut key for this computer. I want to go to the boot sequence and set this into legacy mode, all right? So make sure you're in legacy. If the default is UFEI, make sure to have it in legacy mode. So I'll apply that one, exit, and then we're going to restart again. Then we need to boot into the USB stick that we plugged in. So I'll power that one on again. Then I'm going to press F12 for us to see the boot menu options, then select the USB stick from there. So jump into that boot menu. Take note guys that the boot menu key and the BIOS key is different from each manufacturer. So I'll place a link on the description below so that you can see which manufacturer you have. So for me, it's F1 for BIOS and F12 for boot menu. So as you can see, it loaded up already. I have the USB loaded there. Uh, once again, if the USB stick is not showing up, make sure that you have legacy mode set up. I load that USB stick and this is the first one we can see. You can run this Prime OS live, but we want to install this one 
into the hard drive. When we say live, you don't need to install it. You can try it without installing. So that's an option for you guys. But for us, we are going to install it right now. So it detected a hard drive for us, which we are going to enter. Then there's a note up there that it is recommended that we use uh, ext3. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. There you go. And then, of course, we need to go yes. It will format it and then install the operating system. It will take around three to five minutes tops. Once it's done, it will ask you if you want to install Grub. Of course, we want to install Grub. So we need to select yes. It will continue the installation process for around another five minutes then that's it all right 100 run prime os yes of course let's do it this will restart itself and in the first boot it will load up our prime os a menu will show up just go ahead press enter then boom Prime OS is loading. This is the very first time it's going to load up, so it will take a while, but after you set up everything, it will be quick and easy. Looking good. Welcome to Prime OS. So I'll just get closer to this screen so that you can see. I'm using my mouse right now. Let's go first setup that we have here username and location that's it proceed and of course we need to accept hi welcome to prime os experience android on your pc setting up your apps getting ready let's start sure why not all right that's the default screen that we have here so that we will have a clear view of this one, there's a built-in screen recorder of Prime OS. So I'll just go ahead and record our screen so that it would be clear for you to see. There you go. As is like an Android. The only thing is I'm using a mouse to navigate. So I tried installing Candy Crush. Then, yeah, it's, it's like, Android on a desktop. So that feels really cool. So I'll just go ahead and play. Yeah. <laughs> I made a mistake. Yeah. Good. All right. One problem I encounter with Prime OS with this hardware is that the Ethernet adapter is not supported. So I need to plug in a USB Ethernet adapter. And maybe for you guys, you can also add or plug in a Wi-Fi adapter. Take note, guys, that maybe there are apps that might not work depending on the hardware you have. Maybe for me, this is a 10-year-old PC. So I tried installing some apps, but they don't work. If you have an extra laptop, you can try installing it also there because they are more ideal. They have a built-in Wi-Fi adapter to it, so you'll not have a problem with adapters. Um, anyways, I hope you have learned something from this video guys and hope to see you in my next video.